seven to nine hundred kids that come in almost quarterly uh, in children's medical services that are primarily followed by us for chronic problems. The children, the, the, the babies can't wait is primarily for speech delay and autism and, and Down syndrome and of course children's medical services is kind of scoliosis, sickle cell, uh, the kind of asthma, the kinds of things that require just medical treatment we, we, of course, as you are well aware, are involved in child immunization, encouraging those, checking for lead poisoning. We, do, uh, we encourage and, uh, and educate on nutrition, physical activity, and going out to school boards right now, talking about childhood obesity. That's a priority of the governor right now, and we're making it on local levels. We do oral health. We go out and teach. Uh, we have a nurse who goes in schools, gives out toothbrushes, teaches dental care. Women, infant, and children. We have a program here that is a several million dollar nutritional program for women and babies that have been born. And, and it is its own separate department up on the third floor of this building. And that's the lead county department. Of course, we do it out at all the health department. And of course, school health. They work on our protocol in all the schools in our district, meaning that they work under my, pretty much my license authority, under our protocol that's been that Deborah Adams has dotted her eyes across her teeth on. We actually, two of the nurses in the bell office system actually work for you, for you and, and us. Women's health, family planning, family planning, trying to let women control plan the pregnancy, in my opinion, is also trying to prevent babies from having babies and children from having children. Uh, once they, they get pregnant, of course, it, it's, we try to make sure that the mother and the baby will be healthy. Uh, it's not the baby's fault. have the skills to take care of a child and, and yet we do immediately turn around and reinforce planning of these pregnancies and this is a big issue in the health department like when you realize chronic and communicable disease we treat STDs every day overall on Lee Street uh, HIV we have 110 clients of HIV in our area that we follow adult immunizations you know about here in this health department uh, we every day we have up to 30 including travel immunizations you can't get anywhere else uh, tuberculosis let me just tell you a story about tuberculosis we had a patient the last year refused we actually when we diagnose TB in a patient we get, we take the medicine to them we go to their house and we give them the medicine we watch them swallow the medicine that's an unbelievable thing that we do to try 
try to keep the public health and keep the patient at home. Well, this patient was refusing to let the nurses in his house to even see him. Of course, he would go out in the community to church out and about, coughing the spread of germs all over the place. So, the eventually got sick enough that Willie Terrain admitted an ID here in Flounds and called me and said, Dr. Grove, we have a public health problem. I said, Willie, I, I know this patient, yes, we do. Having said that, two Superior Court judges, two lawyers, two hearings, uh, Sheriff of Lyons County Jail, CEO of South Georgia Medical Center, unbelievable man out of town. This patient was admitted to the Columbia, South Carolina TB Prison Hospital under court order where he's been for six months. He's now in remission. He's been sent home. And he's gained 40 pounds. And uh, all he had to do was take his medicine. But nevertheless, it's, 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 it's a fancy process, too, when you get up with these people involved. And nevertheless, epidemiology, this is what part of what we do that people never hear about. We can't put it on the front page of the paper. Epidemiology, let me tell you about this the cockroach. I, I had a patient who kept, had the new cockroach meningitis around Christmas. Um, and it came in and sent me from an OBGYN doctor's office. She had a little red spot fell over. I had a real bad sore throat. I thought I knew what was wrong. Sent her to Mercer and Mercer and she collapsed in sepsis shock. Uh, started her ten fingers and toes started dying, what we call dismal necrosis. Before that night was over, two o'clock in the morning, I was intubating her and right as I flipped in the tube, she coughed, which is a normal reflex. You put something in the trachea and all of her germs flew up in my face, occupational hazard. Having said that, um, <clears throat> the next morning, she'd been a party two nights before, a Christmas party with 100 people. They were calling my office, most of them were my patient. We have a protective medicine for them. I, I, you know, I didn't know what to do. And then I learned what epidemiology is. She called the health department epidemiology, took over, identified the people at the party, got those that were closely around this patient, on prophylaxis, I got on prophylaxis, and this is what epidemiology does. If we get people get sick with a certain problem, they go out and identify what happened. We had a restaurant that, that uh, a few years back that salmonella was an issue, uh, and they kept having it. Um, ultimately, found out epidemiology found that you don't see and hear about all this kind of thing that we're doing. And as far as children immunizations, we've done 7,000 immunizations in 77 schools in the last four months. Don't think there are a lot of people not out there working. There are, and there's one main one right there. Okay? She, she's a girl. Our mental health, this is one of the most depressing things. Restaurant is best. You see the grades in restaurants? That's us. You, we had a brand new restaurant open at the mall two years ago. Big editorial in the paper about how the public how the health department was anti-business. All we did was was in the enforcement of the state regulation. They, they flunked their first two VU uh, inspections, and they had some real issues, and we were going out and educating them, trying to tell them what they were doing wrong. Finally got the district manager now, I've got a straightened out. Brand new restaurant, really, really prompt restaurant. The mall now doing well, it's had no issues since then, trying to keep people healthy. Septic tank and well placement, we actually are actively involved in that every single day. And lots of issues, I'm not even going to go into issues that go around when we share and that the people have bought property and 30 years later, uh, they're not in good, good terms with the people they're sharing a well with or septic tank with, and they're really getting to be some political issues there. Public swimming pool, we're responsible for the health of public swimming pool water, including wild adventures. We go out and try to make sure the chemical balance is right that the water is, is good, public phone pools, and, and, and to keep children and people healthy. Tourist accommodations. We checked for, for, for a problem with tourist accommodations. We had to close eight beds in a Lowndes County motel last year for bed bugs. I got a letter from Kentucky, a picture of a guy's leg with a whole bunch of whelps. He been to a dermatologist, he sent me the receipt from the motel so I knew exactly which one it was. Uh, we went down there, our environmentalist did confirm that there was a bed bug problem. We shut eight rooms, fumigated, problem taken care of. Did it get advertised? Did it get credit for it in the community? We don't know we're doing this, absolutely not. We can't go out and do that. All this is going on behind the scenes. Tour, uh, bodyguard, we're probably responsible for the tattoo parlors, man, to making sure that they're not spreading disease. They're puncturing, they're drawing blood. We, we
we are trying to be sure that they're not passing from one client to another client with this diseases that are you don't want. Where was the uh, vision in medical school now when, when you were going to medical school? You said one day I'm going to be over. Had too far. Yeah, <laughs> interesting thing I've learned. Uh, rabies control. Dory in Lowndes County. Let me tell you about a donkey. Got imported from Decatur County uh, and uh, to a, a prominent Lowndes County. And he put him in with his Irish and imported from Ireland forces. Woke up the next day and the horses were bloody and the donkey was bloody. So he moved in one of these goats, 22 goats, mothers and babies. Next morning there were seven or eight dead goats. Decided he'd give his donkey back uh, to the get to Cater County and, and in the process of loading him up, the guy that was helping him got bit. Well, they took him back to Cater County and the guy over there uh, got rid of the donkey and buried him. Well, the guy here went to the emergency room and what was he asked? Is each of the animal be checked for rabies? The answer was no. We go to Decatur County, get them to dig up the animal, cut off the head, take it to the lab, and find the positive for rabies. Okay, donkey with rabies. All right, and most horses are not uh, vaccinated for, for rabies. I have horses, they were not, they are now. But, but having said this, we can give you stories of three weeks ago in Brooks County, three weeks ago, three guys standing around a truck. A um, fox wanders out and jumps on the hood of the truck. Now, would you, what would you do if that happened? Would you run away? Would you say, I'd go get your shotgun? No, they didn't. They just sort of stood there. Well, that, he ends up attacking, jump, biting two of them. Gets into the, uh, gets his head cut off, got killed. Uh, he did have rabies. They got poor started on rabies treatment. You don't hear <coughs> it. You know, if this goes on a lot more, I'm going to share a few of these stories with you. This is something I had no clue about the health department. This is something I had no clue. I knew a little bit about this and a little bit about this, but the extent of this, you don't know what we do here to keep communities healthy that we don't get any credit for. Now, having said